us. So here we go. Another day, another dungeon. That should be a shirt. That should be a shirt. I would love a shirt that says <laughs> that, that should, should be, be a shirt. shirt. <laughs> You're so meta. <laughs> You're so meta you probably think this shirt is about you. The Black Forest reigned here, its kingdom rarely invaded by those that live in the light. But it was called home by this mysterious Vorador. Legend told of a time when Vorador defeated Malek of the Seraphan. If such a man did exist, then he could perhaps be the key to defeating yes. the war. Yes, legends and three cutscenes that we've played over and over again tell of how Vorador... How did Vorador beat Malak, Jason? I don't remember. I'm curious. Oh, it's been forever. I don't know. Oh, possibly did he sneak into the circle, kill two people, sneak up behind Malak, hit him over the head, then shoot him with a lightning bolt? I That could be it. I want to say I read that in a history book. Uh-oh. No, we're in Zombies Ate My clouds, Neighbors now. Two clouds fighting each other. Only one will <laughs> escape alive? <laughs> Who will reign on whose parade? Well, obviously the cloud that condenses first. So, 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 okay. So Kane is such a powerful vampire now that he can cross water. That yeah. would kill most things just by turning into mist. Turning into mist, yeah. Oh, man. He's OP. OP! But you know what kind of sucks about it, though? If he actually absorbs a lot of that water as he's crossing it, when he turns back into his vampire form, he's gonna be really bloated. Ugh. Yeah, I know, just when you're retaining a lot of water, his ankles are gonna swell up. Kane might be pregnant, is what I'm hinting at. With a bog baby? Suddenly I have the strangest urge to eat pickles and ice cream. Oh no, it then dawned on me that I shan't be able to eat sushi for nine whole months. <laughs> I would think Kane would be the kind of guy who would eat the sushi just because he's told not to. He'd be the kind of guy who would eat sushi if he got pregnant. That's an insult you'll never hear. You know, Jason, I think you're the type of man that would eat sushi even though he was pregnant. You piece of shit. More saving! <laughs> what is that a picture of? I... <laughs> It's a guy it, getting tackled by blood and then spilling more blood. Well, I like the picture underneath Baby Kane right now, which is apparently the ability to turn into a peasant. <laughs> it's not mist form. You're just... I, I, I don't know. It's, it's just weird. I have the ability to turn into a peasant right now. I just spend all my money on scratch-off tickets. <laughs> This spell allows me to use blood from my own body as a weapon. When struck, my enemy's blood would flow from their bodies to fill me with life. Tis a risk, yet the rewards are It a is a risk, Kane. That's how AIDS was started. Come on. Oh, I guess I gotta... I gotta use my magical blood spear. Does that mean that he's no longer turns into a bat, he turns into a bullfrog? Because don't they shoot their own blood out of their eye sockets? Also, a lot of frogs have the uh, ability to... Well, they're not so much an ability, but they have a proclivity for, for urinating right before they jump so that they're lighter and they can fly farther. Hmm. A lot of frogs can actually change gender depending on what the frog community needs, you know, for population numbers. So, that being said, maybe Kane will get pregnant. <laughs> pregnant. Pregnant. Pregnant? He's pregnant! <laughs> did, did you- I went- uh, that joke was a stretch enough, then I had to fuck it up by saying pregnant. <laughs> Chris, you have been learning in them books again? Shut up, Mom, I saw that in Jurassic Park. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah. Uh, uh, did you splice this, um, this, uh, dinosaur, uh, with, with amphibian DNA? Victus! 
That doesn't make sense. Shouldn't they be splicing it with bird DNA? Well, also, that doesn't make sense because... Wouldn't Jeff Goldblum then be in the biggest threat of his life? Because if they're giant frogs, aren't they going to try and eat a giant fly? <laughs> I don't know. He seemed to already be uh, uh, already in pretty uh, pretty bad shape. Um, I want to be the first Velociraptor politician. Uh, dinosaurs have no politics. <laughs> My mom asked me the other day, uh, why do you think that Gina Davis and him got divorced. And I was like, didn't you see the movie turn into a fly? <laughs> also, he was kind of a jerk to her. Turning to a giant fly is one thing, but you're cheating on me? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, cause some people, you know, they only care about what's on the inside. Fly now, guts. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, liquidated fly guts. If, if you really watch to the end, spoiler alert, but. <laughs> If you have not seen The Fly, go watch it. It's a fantastic film. Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe I'm in Castlevania. The giant red skeletons that come back to life. Maybe you can only kill them with the blood spear thing. I have a hint for you. Don't fuck with me. I have a posse. <laughs> Again, I, I went back and watched some uh, Phantasmagoria. Because we do plan on... Oh, shit. You're right. I can just... Okay, not undead, guys. It actually hurts me. Who would have thunk it? You are in so much trouble. Oh, I think you're right. I, I might be super fucked right now. Oh, wait! Didn't we find out that the Heart of Darkness just instantly... That's my last one, though. The heart of yeah. Darkness. Oh. No, but I went back and watched Phantasmagoria um, a bit. Uh... <laughs> I haven't watched Lotax and uh, Slow Beef during their their Let's Play of it because I don't want to inadvertently steal their jokes when it comes time for us to Let's Play it. But I did watch some cutscenes and man, our official hint keeper is a little more feminine and a lot lighter sounding. <laughs> Theirs does have a lisp. It, it is. I, I do stand behind giving him a lisp. But it is not that, that high. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I'm just running away now. That was a mistake. Didn't mean to... I'm panicking! For the first time in this game, I am aware of my own mortality. Not Kane's, mine, Chris Vaughn's. Is can you, like, jump the gap as the werewolf? I don't think this game allows you to jump. Oh, you mean that gap? Yeah. I'm about to blow up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I know. Yeah, pull yourself back together, asshole. It looks like you're throwing tiny little butterflies. Oh, sometimes. I didn't need to jump the gap. I just need to kill the enemies. No, I don't need... I need blood! No, I don't need the ability to have more blood, wait, wait, I just need the well, blood! If you go back to the back, to the last room, there was, there were some ladies. Yeah, but then I had to fight those... Those skeletons again. Oh, we were making so much fun of how... Does and, this just and then you went and you skipped all the secrets. All yeah, I, I did actually. I did skip quite a few secrets. There was just stuff laying around everywhere, and you're I'm like, trying nah, to get, I don't need it. I'm trying to get this Let's Play done quickly, as opposed to, like, a 100% completion run. What the f- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it tells you your run. Mutilations? Mutilations? See, look at this. Yeah. Terrible. Wow. <laughs> well, we've beat the legacy of Kane. <laughs> See you next. Now, okay, let's. 
So you know what I feel like doing, Chris, what? after playing this game? Moving to the country, gonna eat a lot of leeches. Leeches come from my hand, <laughs> and they like to eat a man. It's like all the enemies are like kind of like gothic horror up until you start fighting slime balls. And that just kind of kills it for me. Now if they had the cute little smiley faces like Dragon Quest, that would be pretty funny. It'd be funny, but I don't think Legacy of Kane is a comedy. <laughs> Wait. I'm back and better than oh, ever. Oh, I keep forg I keep getting Oh no. I keep getting the regular game mess mixed up with with our version of it because our version is a comedy no ours is a tragedy well it's a comedy of errors to to inept people trying to be funny that rock there looks like one of those rice cakes there's just a rice cake there i sunk my teeth deep into the rice cake and then i was bloated because i have a gluten intolerance Okay, so we're supposed. Oh my god! Damn! I just realized why we don't know where we're going. What is it that that uh that prophet told us? The Ask ignis for directions. The ignis factuous lights the path to hell, Cain. Yeah, path. But be warned, it doesn't work in the daytime. You fucking dunce. <laughs> Oh gosh, you're about you're about out of health. I'm running away as fast as my misty little legs can take me. Wait, I turn into misty? <laughs> in the not too distant future. Somewhere in time and space. I have a heart of darkness, don't there we go. Heart of darkness. See, now see it's getting dimmer so the Ignis Factuous is lighting, so we should be able to know where we're going. Man, it's just... Nobody wants you to be around here. I don't want to be around here. Don't want to come around here no more. Strange that Vorador would choose a dwelling so perilous to him. The swamp could only offer a vampire hazard and pain. Hazard pay? Is that what he said? He offers him hazard pay? That's yeah. good. Fordor pulled his back when he's fighting Malak in that cutscene. Uh-oh. We might be in trouble. I'm completely out of Heart of Darknesses, and there are no people in this area. Just... Boogans. You, you could always, uh, teleport away or whatever. I could, but then I had to walk all the way back here. Um... I spell the, the axes. Inspire repair energy repel. Oh great, the two spells won't work together. So I can't like Oh! Yeah, that's, there we go. Uh... Jesus Christ! Damn it! <laughs> you were doing really well up to the part where you died. Looks like we actually, it was kind of fortuitous that we died that time because we uh, missed a, a an entire dungeon. We'll see if this place is worthy of being called a dungeon. I don't know. I guess we found Krang's house. <laughs> Whose house? Krang's house. Whose house? <laughs> Krang's house. Nice hardwood floors they got here. Oh. Whoa, watch it, buddy. We really gotta find some more Hearts of Darkness. That's what got us in that bad spot last time. We found the Riddler! Oh, wait, those are This spell allows me to enslave my enemies, giving me 
control of their bodies. When I release my grip, their bodies will shrivel and die as I displace their souls and replace them with my own. So wait, I can control their bodies, right? Yeah. And when I release my hold on them, they shrivel and die. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. And I don't even have to go, and no, 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 no. <laughs> Stop it! Okay. Hello. Oh, really? Come on. Oh, that's a trick shot. Can I do it? Yeah! In this game, you've got to use your mind to use other people's minds. Hey, look, there's the thing you need. Oh, uh, you killed yourself. Oh, I was depressed. Also, it wasn't my body. You're playing fast and loose with other people's lives, Chris. One of these days, it's going to come back to haunt you. Jason, I don't believe in ghosts. Just vampires. <laughs> Whoa! Uh oh, they're waiting for you. Look. <laughs> uh, Kane turned back into a wolf and got lonely. <laughs> you said we're not playing with him anymore. You notice how when I'm in this guy's body, I still grunt like Kane? Yep. Do you think, like, that gives him away if he's trying to use subterfuge? So what we gotta do is we gotta get this cane guy and skins him alive. Yes, that is a capital <laughs> idea, my friend. Why is you talking so funny? Why are you talking so funny? This is England. All right. <laughs> ah, it's a vampire over here. Well, guess I'm not getting that secret. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Yeah, you had a good run. I'll try again. Oh, they came back! <laughs> Off to the races! The wolf races? Yep. Actually, I'd like to see you become one of those little slimes. That would be cool. Oh my, a secret. This is just unfair. There we go. <laughs> well. <coughs> Come on, Chris, you gotta find the holes in the defense. That's when you gotta make your play. Do you think this was just a trick to get me to play a puzzle game? No, this was a trick to make me sit through a let's play. <laughs> this friendship has been a ruse. <laughs> The long con finally pays off as I force Jason to watch me play Legacy of Kane. <laughs> well, I'm back again. Oh, a bunch of green lanterns. They'll help you through, right? No, man. I'm a vampire. I'm pretty much Solomon Grundy to them. They're gonna put me in space prison. That was so great how previously you got that axe and you're like, yes, I can get through anywhere now. And then you immediately get missed for him. You just walk around the tree. It just like, I don't know. It just feels anticlimactic. I don't need these anymore. Throws them in a dumpster. <laughs> Okay, now it's a shmup, apparently. Only your ship's too slow to dodge any bullets. Pick a card, any card. Oh, you chose wrong. Oh, man. 
I am not doing too good. You mean you're not doing well? Oh, I'm sorry. I am not doing too well. Didn't you listen to Weird Al's new song, Word Crimes? Come on. No! No, 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 no! Leave me alone! Oh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> but I have a heart of darkness, so I come back in three, two... Oh, yeah! Strange that Voridor would choose a dwelling so perilous to him. The swamp could only offer a vampire hazard and pain. Vorador, isn't that the, the bad guy from Harry Potter? Pretty sure. Yes! Pretty sure Vorador. No, that's like a mix between Voldemort and Mordor. Just, uh, they're just mix. Everyone's just mixing each other's names for stuff. It's just so what you're saying is, this game ripped off Tolkien. And then J.K. Rowling ripped off this game. Yeah. Then how come Harry isn't a badass vampire? It's too spooky. And Twilight already came out. <laughs> no, Twilight came out after Harry Potter. No, -uh, no, that's not how I remember it. See, Chris, in my fan fiction. <laughs> Your fan fiction called Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Corridor better have a bunch of blood and just like a giant punch And hole. guts. He also better have Patton on DVD. Old blood and guts Patton. Well, we might be ending this episode with me yet again dying prematurely. Voridor's keep was hidden deep within the turbulent forest, nestled among vines and creepers that clung desperately to its dark weathered stone. Creepers? The luxury with which this Vorador surrounded himself was impressive. His wealth would shame the haughty nobles of my former court. Man, his footsteps are getting really loud. Can you turn on the bass there? Turn the bass up a bit! That or, wah, wah, wah. That or I'm just really excited about what's going to happen here. Vorador, I was wondering... Where can I get a tapestry of myself to put on the floor? Do you have to order that through email, or...? Good thing I saved. I think you're gonna have to go back to town, Chris. And what, buy blood? Yeah, from all those people. That this vulgar display of fortune remained undisturbed was a testament of fear's dominion over greed. How much gold do you have now? Their charms were almost visible through the gauze of their clothing, yet beauty such as theirs delivered only death. For these were Voridor's pets, nothing more than beasts, slave to his will and the easy prey he provided. Vampires, all of them, held in thrall by one stronger still. So what we're saying is Vordor is a P-I-M-P I am Pimp. I am bone, the axe bone armor spiked mace. <laughs> Line him up. Ah, uh, whoa! Ah! It's a big you! Kane, it's me, Kane, from the past! If you kill me, you won't, both of us will die! <laughs> haven't you seen Looper? I haven't, but I can guess how it ends! I mean, essentially, it's just the ending of 12 Monkeys over again! No!